Hi, this is Margaret from dataminingdna.com. I'm going to run through a new feature in 2020 of linking one of your DNA matches to your own linked family tree. I'm going to use one of my top matches to go into the match, open the match page. And what you see now as a new icon, here are the you and your match. This is the icon which allows you to link this match, this DNA match, to a particular person in your tree. So click on the icon and then you have to go and find that person in your tree. It is a tree that's linked to your DNA. Yeah. And it's telling me go find that person in your tree, which that that's fair enough because many of my matches are KW and ZB and AF, so it's not actually making a guess. So I'm going to type in Margaret. Now I type in the first name, and now I now Ancestry is giving me all the people whose name starts with Margaret in my tree. So I am going to pick the person whom I recognise as being the correct individual in my tree, and it's just pulling me up here, telling me, okay, see this little tick box here? It's telling me that this is done. And once that's done, what happens? Well now, this icon up here, now you have a little tick box saying that you have linked this DNA match to your linked tree. And if I go back to the main match page, now you see this little tick box here. What is the point of this? I'm not entirely sure. I went out and had a look to see if there was any magic that this actually gives me or any, any new information. No, I'm just reminding myself that I know who this match is and I've identified that match. I've added the connection into my tree. It may be useful, it may not be. One of the things about Ancestry is sometimes they have a you know a roadmap of new features. This might just be the start of something. We'll see. At the moment it's just a visual reminder that we have made that connection.